with panther chameleons, the the really cool thing about them as a species is that they're sexually dimorphic. But the traits that people are breeding for are mostly presented in the males. Mm -hmm. You have this generation in a female that's a totally like unknown. You don't know what traits she has because she's not going to show you. I found that immediately something that was really interesting. I was like, well, what what does she have? You know, like what is mm -hmm. what traits what what traits she does she bring to the table? Then you layer on that that they don't have any known like dominant, co-dominant, or recessive traits that determine their color, uh, where you can draw up a simple Punnett square. With this, it's all about distributions. So poly, with polygenics, uh, polygenic traits, the way that those end up is, so if you take uh, a, a red and a yellow chameleon, you put them together, it's almost like taking...